Well guys, good morning. Today was a tough day. I got stopped. Yes. So every day we don't get like good movers. But yeah, sometimes you get stopped at first trade and then rethink and then see what happens. So yeah, so let's look at the AL. So my list was the same as the same as yesterday. I woke up so late. I didn't have time to um look at the watch list and it looks like the ones that i traded yesterday is the same it has like good volume uh uh what's this it's gap down and yeah good thing i good thing i handled it well because uh the market was really choppy at the open like this one like i can't I can't think if I should short or if I should long because it's just hovering around VWAP. I was gonna short it here, but I waited for a few more because Spy was hovering. Was five, Spy was kind of like above VWAP, so hard for me to decide whether I could short. So what? That's what I did. I entered short, and I got. I just stopped out. At, I stopped myself from uh, above VWAP. Because I thought it's gonna squeeze up and make a new high of day. And then when I saw this three wicks that it was being rejected at 1940, 1640 price, I said I'm gonna try one more. I shorted it here, all the way down here, all done. So this one's good profit, risking some 1640. And yeah, there you go. Uh let's look at Oxy. Uh Oxy struggled here. Uh it got rejected at this price. Uh, got rejected here again. It tried again and got rejected. Then when it's always hovering around this this area, I I felt like it's gonna go and break VWAP. It's like I don't know what to call this, but I just feel like it's I know it's gonna break. Uh, so my risk was I think just very tight, like thirty or something. Uh, yeah, and it worked. It worked pretty well. Uh, what else are here? LVFC, I didn't want to trade that because uh, I didn't like the price action. Uh, DXC, no, oh. ugly. So, DAC, same. So, yeah, let's um, <clears throat> let's watch. Yeah, sorry, I forgot to record early because I didn't have time to set up everything, even recording it. I didn't. I just never had time to press record, so I forgot to record. I just realized it after uh, trading AAL. So yeah, but I have a late record here. I'm going to show it to you. So yeah, here. Let's watch. So let's fast forward this a bit. So I had it short here. After getting stopped, I stopped it here. I, I got... I was kind of chasing it. Look at those weeks. I was kind of chasing it. And I felt like I know it's going to go up. So I just stopped immediately because of this weeks. I don't like long weeks like this. So even though my <clears throat> even though my stop is here, I just stopped myself because it just can just squeeze and make a new high of day. But the stock was uh, a gap down. So it's kind of short bias to it. So I shorted it here. Uh, I have some few shares left, taking some off here. I want it I wanted it to break 79, but it's just struggling. So I think what I did was just get out get all out later. But Yeah, that's what I was expecting, but it wasn't really it wasn't it wasn't really that big of a push so yeah i was risking somewhere here this is a good profit i wanted more but the thing like i think if it makes a new high then i'm just gonna get out new one minute high i'm saying yeah so i got all out there and then after that i asked myself if i want to trade more yeah all out Asking myself if I want to trade more. Let's look at Oxy. I think I traded Oxy somewhere. Uh, let's fast forward this. I'm all out. 
I'm just going to pause this and have it fast forward. Yeah, so it was kind of hovering around this area. Like this kind of pattern for me and this VWAP is here, it's going to break it. See, it tried it and it's being bought after after try. I actually shorted at 22, but I didn't get in because uh, it stuck was an SSR. You have to uh, short at ask. I tried again. It didn't work. There you go. I get filled at 21 because I tried again. So my risk is around 30 area, 31. Uh, my risk is 10 cents. So I almost got stopped here. And I was confident it's going to break 20 and yeah, break VWAP and all the way to low of day. So I have that room. I know stock is an SSR, so that someone has to push it. So my stop is there now, right? 31. I almost got stopped one cent. I was really, really lucky. So normally, even even the even the resistance is here. Sometimes you give it a little bit of room for you to uh, not to get stopped. So there you go. Because it's being bought, I was kind of scared. I see prints. It's being bought. It's being bought. So, but I know it's, I know it's going to break. I just felt it. Order C, we're seeing orders now. There you go. Watch closely. 21 or 21. Let's fast forward this a bit. There you go. That's what I was expecting. But it took some off there. We're looking at numbers again. 13. That was a really good move. Yeah, so after that, I was like, wow. This free money right there. So I'm waiting for a pullback around 13 area, 13.03. If it goes 13.03, I'll probably consider, I don't know, one. So that's a pullback. More. The low of this, 90. Come on, 90. Took some half here. This are ten percent. Took half here because it's close to low day. I probably want to take more at low of day. One ninety. There you go. Mm -hmm. Wow, it's dropping more. So, uh, I think I'm kind of. What happened? Yeah. So. I'm almost all out my shares here because uh, it was just too good for me not to take it. So a few more shares left. Hoping for 60. Come on. So I was trying to put range order here, but I accidentally, uh, I'll show it to you later. So I was hoping for 60 or 59. That's actually my target, my next all out target. That's going to be my all out target. So I have 10% uh, uh, more. I should have held, but the thing is normally like this kind of flush. You don't take, it might go back, it might be bought. I get bought so I was trying to play around with my stop because I'm up in the money and then I just wanna I almost got stopped there but good thing I cancelled it so I wanna get out at 60 that's the plan 60 and then there you go all out that's it's a mistake I was trying to make a range order 80 and 60 either of the two I was trying to make a range order and then I immediately I pressed like I added like a a wrong uh, range order number so there you go 60 come on 60 that's the one i was looking for but i think that's it i think that's a low low of day there you go normally i will get out if it doesn't drop that more look at that volume 1.7 million crazy yeah so that was a crazy trade a good one um benefit of trading just the vwap Struggled a few times, 
look at this and down I went up and then sold back so yeah um I'm all out thank you to oxy and yeah yeah actually it did went 61 because low of this 60 so it actually did 61 but yeah i did not get the order because uh i pressed the wrong hotkey so yeah it's a uh, kind of a boring day i forgot to record so sorry about that So yeah, I'm gonna have this uh, posted on YouTube. Uh, if you have any questions, please let me know. Just comment down below. And if you haven't, please subscribe to my channel. Uh, I will be happy if you do that. Thank you so much, guys. See you tomorrow. Have a good day.